Well, hello, hello, and welcome to a new random video. And on this video, guys, we're here for me to show you the best picks for the bronze elo on League of Legends for the current patch, patch for 14.10. Oh man, uh, so guys, bronze, okay, keep that in mind. So, first thing that I want to tell you guys, I'm sorry for not been posting many videos lately, it's because I've been quite sick, and if you hear me coughing on this video, it's because I am still quite sick. But not as much enough for me to be able to post a video okay so let's get on to this so i'm here just to show you guys the a the s and the op tiers for the for each each lane i'm going to show you the best picks on each lane and i'm not going to show you the b the c or the d's because i'm going to show you the best picks not all the picks and where they are organized uh, also, these picks are organized not by me, okay? So before you guys go into the comments and start saying, Oh, your tier list sucks! It's not mine, okay? This is literally taken from statistics of the game. It's based on the champions that are being most picked on the on their respective elo, so this, in this case it's bronze, and from those that are being most picked, what are having the most wins? And, and therefore, here we are. So, if you guys go to the OP tier, you're going to have the champions that are being mostly picked and are ha having most wins from all those picks. On the S tier, we have champions that are being a lot picked, but not having as much wins as this. And on the A tier, we have champions that are not being as much picked, especially the ones that are more on the top of the AT tier. Uh, but... In the, even though they are not being as picked, they are having some good wins. So I consider all these three to be enough to be in here on this video. And not me, but the websites also that made the statistics. So let's start from the AT tier. We have Aatrox as the bottom of the AT tier. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my throat is killing me. Um, Aatrox from, on the bottom of the AT tier. Basic champion. I understand why this can work on bronze. Um, it's, it's it's not easy to play, but it's it's like you, you can make it work. Then we have Vayne. Oh man, Vayne top. I know all the top laners hate this pick, but well, it is and, and, and like it is showing even on MSI. MSI ended today on the day that I'm recording this video. And yeah, even on MSI Vayne top was showing up. Then we have Volibear, Nasus, Renekton. These are just normal picks that you would see. Jax, Irelia, Irelia is a pick that I'm wondering, whoa, Irelia, it's not an easy champion to play, but it's on A tier, okay, Bronze, I trust you guys, I trust you, then we have Shogat, okay, Trundle, Malphite, Scion, Tamkench, Trindamir, Kale, and like the two best champions of the A tier, we have Warwick and Kled, these two are having Quite a good win rate, but they are not being as picked as much as those that are in here. So they are on A tier. But sometimes they even have more win rate than those in here. It's just that they don't have enough games to compare with these ones. Moving to the S tier, we have the champions that are that are really good to play. We have Darius, totally fine. Ilawi, I had no idea you guys on Bronze were picking Ilawi. Oh man, you guys are sassy. Then we have Timo and Garen, okay, basic champions for the low elo. Then we have on the OP tier, OP tier are champions that, I'm going to say it again, are champions that are having crazy pick rates and being and having a good win rate. So we have Yorick, Orgot, Dr. Mundo, Seth, and the strongest of them all, Mordekaiser. These are, if you want to tell me the top 5 champions for you guys to play on top lane, in uh, bronze, this is the top five. Mordekaiser being the, uh, the first one, Yorick being the fifth one. Moving to jungle. In jungle, we also have some interesting picks. We have from the A tier to the uh, to the OP. <coughs> we have Vi, followed by Jarvan, followed by Diana, Timo on jungle because yes, Phil sticks, Brand, Jax, Shivana, Volibear, Zinzal, uh, Cartas. Morgana, Ramos, and Mordekaiser. Mordekaiser being the champion in here that also has quite some good win rate, but is not having much pick rate on jungle. So, like when I say that it's not having much pick rate, I'm saying on the respective lane that I'm talking about. Okay, the champion might have actually good win, a good pick rate, but somewhere else. Uh, we have Mordekaiser in here, 
uh, not being picked as much in jungle, understandable. But apparently you guys on bronze are actually having great success when you pick them. Then we go for the S tier, the champions that you pretty much see in every single game and the OP ones also. Lee Sin, Mastery, Shaco, Kane, Viago and Lilia. These are the standards, in my opinion. But then we have the OP tier, and these are the top 4 best champions for bronze in jungle. In 4th place we have Briar, which a few patches ago was crazy OP, but she got an Earth. Then we have Warwick, followed by Nocturne in 2nd place, and the best of them all, Amumu. And, you know what? I like the fact that you guys have Amumu as being the strongest champion that you have in jungle. It's easy to play, and it's easy to make it work. It's, it's all we have to say about Amumu. It's not a crazy strong champion, but it works. Uh, actually, for a bronze player, I would recommend actually Amumu for being a good champion to play in the jungle in any patch. But since he's, he's strong for you guys now, totally rec recommend this, especially the top 4 for you guys to play. Moving on to mid lane. In mid lane we have on 8 tier. Yoni, Zed, Wei, incredible that you guys are picking Wei on down there, but okay. Silas, Fizz, Morgana, Morgana on mid lane, Malphite on mid lane, okay, Diana, Aurelian Soul, Vax, Zeref, Irelia, Timo on mid lane, oh, Heimerdinger on mid lane, what the hell is going on? Oh, you guys are in mid, Jesus, I don't even know what to say. <coughs> But again, here, the top 8 tier is champions that have a good win rate, but they are not being as much played. On the S tier, we have champions that don't have much win rate, but they are having having some good pick rates. We have Yasuo, of course. Then we have Ari and Akali. And on the OP tier, we have champions that are actually OP, so abuse them if you want. We have Lux, Vagar, Malzahar, and Brand. Brand being the strongest champion on the current meta for bronze players. So, yeah, I actually like Bron uh, Brand being on mid lane. It's something that I've been telling for quite a lot. I'm a support player, and I played my quite share of games with Brand. And I always said, to me, this champion is mid lane. It's a champion for mid lane. It's not to be playing as a support. And apparently, he's getting back up there. It's not just on bronze that he's showing up on mid lane. Even like to mid-tier elos like Platinum and something like that. Brand is slowly starting to show up on mid lane once again. Moving on to the AD carries. The AD carries, yes, I know, there's not many AD carries that I put in here. Of course, if you guys are not uh, actually understanding, I'm not putting all the champions in here. Champions from B, C or D tier are not showing up in here, okay? So, for example, there are a lot more AD carries. But these are only the AD carries that are going for OP, S and A tier. All the other AD carries are not as strong. In the current meta. On the A tier we have Tristana, Vayne, Samira and Ash. Oh I imagine if a bronze player knows how to play slightly with a Samira I imagine how this guy must be destroying the games down there. On the S tier we have Caitlyn, Jinx and Jin. Jinx and Jin that breaks my thong as I'm speaking. And on the OP tier the strongest AD carry on the current meta for bronze players is Misfortune. So guys abuse her however you want. And to end the video, we move on to the supports, and for the supports, guys, we have on the 8 tier, uh, Senna, Pike, we have Pike so low, just to show the difference from a high tier and a low tier. If I was doing, like, the best picks for a Master or Grandmaster, Pike would be all the way up here, but, but okay. So we have Senna, Pike, Nico, Swain, Malphite, for some reason, Thrash, Alistar, Nami, Rakan, Velkos, Soraka, Rel, Galio, Zack, uh, Seraphine, Milio, Braum, Zeraf, Malkai, Amumu, Shen, Tamkanch, Sona, Poppy, and Taric. These three in here are having quite a successful win rate, but not many people down there are picking it. So if you guys want to pick it, go on. On the S tier, champions that are being picked as a support and are having some considerable win rate. We have Nautilus, Blitzcrank, Lux, Brand, Morgana, Shaco, Zyra and Leona. 
and for some reason for the OP tier, the strongest support in bronze is goddamn Teemo. What the hell is going on? Like Teemo only in bronze he is uh, considered as OP support, and no other ELO is even S tier. What the hell are you guys doing down there? <laughs> but okay guys, this was the, the best champions for you guys to pick in bronze. Again, this is not based in my opinion, I'm just saying this because I know that some guys are going to come to the comments and say, oh, your tier list sucks, or this champion and that and so on. Guys, this is based on statistics, this is not based in my opinion, okay? This is literally what it's happening. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop the like down there. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.